What's going on, guys? G Fred Jake, welcome back to another episode, episode number four of the podcast. I'm here with Captain Trox, your other host, obviously. So let's get right into it. Yeah, we got a lot of topics to talk about here. The ending of the Book of Boba Fett. Um, that was really all I had planned, but I think we can add more stuff. That yeah. was the the most you know definite thing I wanted to talk about was the Book of Boba Fett because that just ended. But really, there's not much else to talk about. We can add stuff, obviously. Yeah, we can. We can. Um, how did you like that ending? I was disappointed. I really was. I thought. I mean. It's weird because part of me, I think I would say, I would say I'm 50-50 on it. Yeah. 50% I'm disappointed on. The other 50% of me is like, well, this is the book of Bubba Fett. It's all about him. It's his adventure. This is his show. And I think we all got caught up in all these cameos and everybody, you know, the hype train. You know, the hype train. Oh, we expect it to be the next level up. But we forget that this is about Bubble Fett. This is his show. Yeah, it's not about do, always do. the cameos. It's about the plot and and him. Mm-hmm. I mean, cameos. I'd say were bonus. They're, they're. I mean, you're gonna expect some cameos, obviously, because mm-hmm. they want to please the fans. Well, what do you think? I think when they added Cad Bane, my one of my new friends, Jesse. Mm-hmm. I'll give you a shout out with the what I'm going to mention here. He mentioned that he thinks that for the Book of Boba, when they added Cad Bay, they're leading up to eventually maybe in the next season or maybe in another show having Thrawn as a big reveal. I heard people talking about that, that they were mm-hmm. trying to kind of hype up Thrawn and just get him to be the big bad villain that's coming up in the future. Have you read the Thrawn books? I have, yep. My cousin gave me the first two. I still need to get the others. But funny enough, I've tried to give them back because he's lent them to me. But he's never wanted to get together again. Oh, come on. So it's like... Come on. So it's like, okay, I'll just keep them for myself. <laughs> so thank you, cuz, for letting me keep the Thrawn books. Amazing. So thank you for the free gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was awesome to see the Rancor mm-hmm. in the final episode. The Rancor, I kind of saw that coming. I thought I heard a rumor or a leak that they said the Rancor was going to destroy the whole city yeah. and kind of climb buildings and stuff and sure enough it happened. Do you think we're ever going to see the Zillow Beast again from the Clone Wars? Do you, like, that, is in, another in, like, to- the- that is another topic I've heard about on online is that what about the Zillow Beast and if we're going to see him and That'd be awesome That would be awesome if, I, I gotta I say I want to see him be on Coruscant Again, like yes. have, have Boba, and yes. somehow he's on Coruscant. Or did they take him off of Coruscant? I don't. Th- I think they kept him, didn't they? I don't they remember. Brought him back to Cor- I know they brought him back to Coruscant, mm-hmm. but I don't. I don't think they took him away. I think they kept him there, didn't they? Well, he did escape. If you remember? He did. Yes, he did escape. Yeah. I don't remember if they kept him there. I don't know. Yeah. I have to look into that. There's so yeah. much. There's so many TV shows and stuff I have to keep up on with Star yeah. Wars. I mean, you've got TV shows, movies, comics. It all. And there's a it ton all of blends together. It all just sometimes. yeah. It all blends together. You got to process it. And... Mm-hmm. Oh, last week when we were talking about Legos, you, and you said that they're going to have a Lego core in. Do a they have? Yeah. Do they have a Prince Lee Char Lego? No. They don't. No. They don't have I didn't think they did, but I no. I was like, I'll ask. But speaking of Legos, we just got a few days ago a huge leak from a really reliable source, and this is for the Summer Wave. And the Summer Wave is the biggest wave out of all of them. Let me, let me guess who your source is. Tom Brady. No. <laughs> he changes it. Why, why would he be my source? Because he changes his mind every five minutes. 
Oh, I'll stay in the NFL. Oh, wait, I'm retiring. Oh, wait, no, he's back in the NFL. Uh, uh, breaking news. Tom Brady just came back. Oh, wait, oh, he's still retired. <laughs> good point, good point. <laughs> I had to make sure it wasn't Tom Brady who was your source. No, it was not Tom Brady. It was some other Lego source that is really reliable. If it was Tom Brady, though, man. That would, that would be interesting, <laughs> just to say the least. It would. It would. <laughs> they should make a Tom Brady Lego. They should, dude. NFL Lego? I don't... It's possible. NFL Anything's Lego. possible in Lego. You can do anything. Yeah. That'd be cool. I mean, I, we just got a rumor that there's going to be a Lego Optimus Prime set. Transformers. And that's brand new. We've never gotten Transformers wow. Legos. And there's a big one coming up. So... But going back to Lego rumors, the Summer League... Summer Leagues came out... And, uh, man, I gotta tell you, dude, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. How much? A lot. <laughs> Usually it costs me $500, $600. Damn. I mean, there's a lot of good sets. So, we got a buildable Dio from Jedi mm-hmm. Fallen Order. It's gonna come with, like, a little Lego Dio droid minifigure. Really? Yeah. That's 100 bucks. Wow. We have an Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Starfighter comes with Obi-Wan, R4, and a Kaminoan. The first time we're ever getting a Kaminoan as a Lego minifigure. I thought they had Kamino like they did have him as characters in the original Lego um, video game. They did, yes. But, but they never had him as not as an actual minifigure. Yeah. Then why did they have him as I don't know. Sometimes it's weird because the Lego video games. Yeah. Have more. Like in the Lego Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, that has Commander Cody as a playable character, but we don't have an actual Commander Cody minifigure. That's weird. I know, it's weird. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's, that's shocking. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Like, how do you have him in a video game? But you don't have them as an actual minifigure. I don't get it. I would come out with the minifigure and then come out with the game. Same, same. Yeah, it makes more sense to have them as an actual minifigure and then put them in a video game. But Like, say, for example, we made a video game where Captain Shox was a character in it. You would come out with the minifigure before you come out with the video exactly. game. It's just, that's how, yeah, that's, that's how mm-hmm. it should work. But, nope. Oh. These people don't think the way we do. No, apparently not. <laughs> and I face. say we sue them for oh. all they've got. Just sue them, yep. <laughs> we'll use, um, uh, what's his name from, the lawyer that Peter Parker had. Yes, in, yep. Um, I can't remember the name of the most recent one. The Spider-Verse one, or what? In uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, wasn't it? No, I think that was the... Daredevil. Well, Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil. Yeah, Daredevil. We'll, we'll use Daredevil as our <laughs> lawyer in this lawsuit. <laughs> he'll he'll win. He'll win. Oh yeah, he'll win definitely. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's weird. Now there is a rumor going around that May fourth there's going to be a poly bag, possibly a minifigure return. Could've... Who do you think it will be? Some people think it's Cody. A lot of people think it's going to be Cody. Wow. We'll have to wait and see, though. Only we'll time only time will tell if it's Cody or not. But if it is, you got me, dude. You, I mean, I've been waiting for a Lego Cody. All of us have for years and years and years. And we've been pushing and pushing Lego. When are you going to do this? When are you going to do this? Yeah. And they've been neglecting us. Yeah. So hopefully he comes for the May the 4th promo. And if he does, oh, you do... I'm in. Yeah. Uh, you, you, dude, I'm in you'll all see, You'll the way. see so many people are excited Oh, yeah, about dude, that. everybody. Everybody is going to want in on that. Yeah. No question. I mean, it's... But going back to the summer rumors or the leaks. Mm-hmm. So that was Buildable Deal. We have... This is where it gets good. So we got the Jedi Starfighter mm-hmm. with Obi-Wan, R4, and the Kamino in. Then we have, finally, in years, I mean... We're getting a ATTE. And the last time we got an ATTE was in 2013. Okay. So we're finally wow. getting that. 
how the rumors say that we're going to get a gunship, mm-hmm. Republic gunship, as a actual, like, not the UCS set, but mm-hmm. the smaller version, the actual playable, play scale version of it. We're also going to be getting, um, this is, this is what I'm like for, a Cad Bane's ship, which is probably going to be from the Bad Batch, which is going to finally include Omega. It has to. I mean, Omega. Oh my gosh. Rekka, can I help? Rekka, I want to help. Omega, stay with the ship. <laughs> Omega, stay with the ship. Oh, I wanted to stay with Omega. Oh, darn. Well, Rekka, we'll uh, give you a teddy bear. <laughs> oh, my teddy bear. All right, let's go. It looks exactly like you, Rekka. <laughs> How do you like my tech, boys? It's good. I think that sounded most like tech. Yeah, I'll give you that. It sounds good. It sounds really good. Um, and then that's really it. Mm-hmm. There's still more sets to come, though. There's a huge, um, a huge set that costs five hundred and thirty dollars. What's that one? That is a Master Builder series Lego. Ooh. And the two highest rumors we have are an Endor set or the Geonosis Arena. Those are the That'd two possibilities. Cool. And a lot of people want the Genosis Arena. How would you like a set that was one of the Star Destroyers and then the, the Republic Cruiser? So there's um, Tarkin with one, but Yularen with the other. So that would be, it that combines would be both of them. That would be sick, I have to say. That would be sick. And Anakin's on the Yularen one. Darth yep. Vader's with the other. Yep. That would be awesome. That would, dude. So, so then all the rumors we have, but it's not confir- a confirmed rumor. They haven't mm-hmm. come on site what's going to be. With. There are some rumors going around saying that there, there's a $50 set. Mm-hmm. I think that one could be a Jingo Fett's sleeve one. That would be sick. I would buy that. It would. Um, and then there's... There's some other sets, but that's really all we have for the summer rumors. Mm-hmm. May the 4th, though. May is going to be packed with sets. We're getting a Yoda's Hut training set. Wow. From Epis- Yeah. We're getting a UCS Luke's Land Speeder. That's awesome. That's really exciting. That's become a meme in the Star Wars uh, community because every other year LEGO says released a Luke's Land Speeder. And it's become a meme. And now that they're doing a UCS set based off of that, everybody's losing it. Mm-hmm. They're like, yay! UCS looks like That's Peter, awesome. Let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> so, how would you guys like it if at the end of the podcast, after we've ended it, we post like one or two memes at the end of each podcast? It's worth a try. I mean,. I, may, may I like, a to, couple sp- Star I like Wars. to space my postings out. I like to do usually. I post, everything. but we would have it in the video for you, for you guys if you oh, want yeah. that. You could probably yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you a couple memes that we can possibly put in. All right, you can and do if that. you guys like that, we'll continue it. If you guys don't want that, we won't do it. So try it out. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, I mean. Book of Boba Fett, we gotta go back to that. The yeah. reunion with Grogu and Mando. Oh, dude, that was so adorable. When Grogu, when, um, what's her name? The, I forgot her name. With the pit droids? That lady. Oh, uh, um. Yes, you know what I, who, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot mm. her name. Tally? Is it Tally? I think it's Tally. I think so. I'm not sure. I think sure. it's Tally. You know, I know it's not with fin- all the pit droids. And, yeah. Yeah, the I know worker. it's not Fennec Shan. No, it's not Fennec. Oh, um, I can't think of who I it is. I think it's Tally. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, she pulled. They were on that little cart with the droid. Yeah. And then she pulled like, Mando, look who's here. She pulled it back. Grogu. And Mando's like, what? My son. <laughs> He's like my firstborn. <laughs> my child. You have returned. My child, you have returned. We must send you to Egypt to free the Israelites. Oh, wait, sorry. That, this isn't the story of Moses. I thought it was. 
got the story of Moses. Oh, I just thought it was the story of Moses, you know? <laughs> I, I got carried away there. No, you're, you're good. That, dude, that's, that is funny. That is funny. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I, I thought we were talking about the Bible for some oh, reason. Oh, dude, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. I did see somebody post it on Twitter. Um, because did you you saw the reveal they released the Obi Wan Kenobi TV show that's yeah. coming, May twenty fifth it's coming out and somebody made the same poster but instead of saying Obi Wan it said like the story of Christ or something really do you have that <laughs> yes, I do I, I, I kept it on my phone I, kept I gotta phone. see this yeah. have, have any of you guys seen this post oh no it's actually the Passion of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's funny. It's we gotta like, post the, we gotta post that picture. The passion of the Christ. We'll post that picture at the end of the video. Everybody talks about how Obi Wan looks like Jesus. It, it's it's everywhere. Like Obi Wan looks like Jesus. Oh my gosh. So there is um oh so there is this guy who posted a picture. If you look up memes of Jesus and LDS, yeah. There's um. Uh, there's this thing. It has a bunch of Jesus pictures. Right in the middle is Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, get, that's funny. That is funny. Get this, guys. There is this kid. His grand, his grandmother, I think it was. Yeah, it, it was his grandmother. Loves Jesus. <laughs> and he gave her a picture of Obi Wan, knowing it's Obi Wan. <laughs> So instead of going to Jesus, she's going up to a picture of Obi Wan, and she's like, "Jesus, help me with my <laughs> with my problems." <laughs> Meanwhile, it's Obi Wan, and he's just like, "Hello there, hello, <laughs> hello." <laughs> that is funny. Well, <laughs> I guess we know uh, what what Jesus is going to say to her when she dies. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> you have reached heaven. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> or maybe she'll she'll be greeted by Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That is. I know. Oh gosh. Yeah, the passion of Christ. <laughs> Do you think if you gave your grandmother a picture of Obi Wan Kenobi, she would think it was Jesus? She might. <laughs> she might. Oh, is that Jesus? No, it's Obi Wan. No, yeah, I mean, yes, yes, it is. Oh yeah, you can go all lines of. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's that's Jesus. Yes, that's Jesus right there. <laughs> she goes up to, she goes up to the picture. Jesus, help me, please. <laughs> I don't know where my glasses are. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're on her head. Oh, uh, that does sound like my grandmother though. She loses stuff all the time. Uh, yeah, but I love her. She's she's awesome, dude. Well, all grandmas are. They're awesome. All grandmothers Especially are awesome. the ones who think Obi-Wan's Jesus and go to <laughs> Obi-Wan with their problems and pray to Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> so comment below if your grandmother prays to Obi-Wan. Oh, dude. That's funny. I know, right? That is, that's too good. That's too good. I know, right? Oh. Anyways. Yeah, with the reunion with Grogu and Mando, going back to that, I loved it, dude. He Grogu jumped out to Mando, and it was so. He's like Papa. Literally, he jumped to him and like grabbed him. I'm like, oh my god, so I know. Cute. I was crying. I was that. crying too. I'm like, oh my god, the reunion. That I was, was so adorable. So much. I gotta rewatch it, right? dude. I gotta just watch. for that. Yeah. I'm not much of a crier in movies, but that made that, me cry. Yeah, that dude, that got me crying as well. Do you cry during movies at all? Sometimes. Sometimes. If it hits hard, yeah. I'll cry. I'm I'm not much of a movie crier. How about your parents? Not really. Really? No, they're not. It's weird because it seems it like if your parents are cr big criers during movies, you're not much of a crier. Yeah. But if they're not much of a crier during movies, you are. <laughs> That's so, usually how it works. Yeah. So comment below if you're a crier during movies and if you cried during the Grogu scene. Mando reunion. Oh, dude. It was awesome. And it just goes to show the bond between a Mandalorian 
who adopts a son is strong. is strong. It is strong. Have you ever read um, the Republic Commandos books? I have, yes. Those books show the strong, the bond between they really, yeah, they do. fathers and sons in the Mandalorian culture and just seeing it go from paper to on screen. Yeah. Oh, that transition, amazing. It's, it is amazing. It's amazing. Um, but they're... If, so, with, the, with them having the NFL honors the other day, yeah. if there was a Star Wars actors honor show, who would you give the top honor to with all the current actors for Star Wars? None of the ones who've been in it in previous. Ooh. Um... I would go with the actor that plays Fennec Shand. I would give it to Grogu. Yeah. I like Fennec. Her actor is... She's yeah. boss, dude. She's she's really I'd good probably actor. give it to Cad Bane, though. The guy who Cad, plays yeah, Cad Bane. Yeah. I, yeah. Because, oh my gosh, that reveal with him in it. Dude, it was crazy. It but was. Fennec Shand is a badass. Like... In the, in the TV show, she was like, you did not want to mess with her. No, you didn't. Like, she would take you out. If even, I saw even more her. so than Boba. Like, I thought, you know, Boba, being badass, he's got his armor. But no, it's actually Fennec who's more badass. Like, I know, right? She, like, the sniping and everything. Like, like, it's like, don't mess with me. Yeah. Like, I, I hate math. I, yeah. I'm terrible at math. I hate it. If it, if it came down to... Having to do a math test or face Bennett Champ, <laughs> I would go with the math, the math test. test yeah. What about you? I would take math test. <laughs> yeah. I would, I, would, I would just be beaten up by Fennec. She'll take me out. But, okay, but. Bennett, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, uh, Fennec, uh, I'll see you after, <laughs> after the math test. <laughs> One plus one is four hours later. Two. <laughs> two plus two is four years later. Four. <laughs> Jake can't stop laughing here, guys. I guess I'll have to do the podcast by oh, myself. It's funny. It is funny. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, um, what are the topics you want to talk about? Um, how about what you told me about uh, your uh, possible? Oh, yes. So, I there's an internship going on for Disney. And only, I think... Like thousands apply to this, but only a few thousand get in. And if you have experience, like a server, like I'm a server, I have server experience, you have a very good chance of getting in. So I put my application in. Disney liked it. They took me to the next step. So I, there's a good chance I can get into this. All right. So what are the top three? If you were a cast member, actually, let's say five. What are the top five? characters you would want to play or TV or movie characters you would want to play. Would you want to do Prince... Let me list some. Would you want to do Prince Charming? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you... How, no, no, no. How about um, Olaf? Uh, yeah, you, you're not a snowman. And <laughs> if you were down to Florida, you would melt. Um, how about... Uh, Bambi, oh wait, you don't have four legs. <laughs> I can't be an animal. <laughs> I, don't have, uh, I don't have four legs. How about Mickey, oh wait, uh, he's a mouse. <laughs> oh wait, are these all costume people? I thought they were real. <laughs> so, uh, what are the top five characters you would want to be? Oh, Chewy. Okay. Chewy's a good one. You gotta be tall for two. With with his costume, that would be the hottest costume to wear. Dude, it would. You Out would, of you all would, of them, you would sweat to death being in that costume. It is so hot to be in that. Yeah. 
Like it, it's and it's got to be heavy too. Like it's not a like it's it's really heavy to put that on. Um, so chewy, maybe some stormtroopers. Okay. Kylo Ren. Uh huh. Um, I've always wanted to be Donald Duck. That was my one of my favorite characters. Okay. Donald, Goofy is a good one. I remember when I was younger and I went there. I had the Goofy, goofy stuffed animal that I got, and I met Goofy that day. And I Perfect. went to take a picture with him, and I showed him Goofy, and he's, he, and I'm like, you want to see him? And he, he's like, yeah, sure. And he's doing some cool Aww. little t- things with him, playing around with him. Then he, then he starts acting all Goofy. Good. No yep. pun intended. <laughs> or should I say pun intended? <laughs> And he hides him behind his back and holds him up high, yes. and I'm like trying to jump for it. And Ma- Max, Goofy's son, is standing there because they have to stand by their co-actor yeah. or whatever they call him down there. Yeah. The cast member, I don't know. Anyway, and I'm like, Max, get Goofy. <laughs> he looks at his dad and is just like, and Goofy's just like, okay, fine. And I'm like, bad Goofy, and he, he puts his head down and he's like, mm. He's all sad, he's like, oh, it's over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then I remember Mulan, I, 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 I gave her a hug, and I knew she wanted a hug, but I wouldn't give him a hug for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. But why would you want to play um, Kylo Ren? Or one of the stormtroopers. Why? Why would you want to do them? I don't know. I always I like the bad guys. I like Kylo Ren. He's cool. Well, you know, you have to stay in character the entire time. True. Yeah. And when I when I met Jafar, my parents told me this. The kids behind us were being really rude and mean to Jafar. Oh really? And it's just a guy in a costume. And I told him he was my favorite character. Oh, that's nice. And. So, say you're Kylo Ren and someone's like, oh, you suck, you're the worst person ever. You should die in a hole, that kind of stuff. Like, you have to stay in character. You can't get mad and punch him in the face. Exactly, dude, yeah. Like... You just have to bite your tongue, dude. Yeah. You, you can't. You, that's, you can never, ever yeah, it's, retaliate. Because if you do, you are in huge trouble. You can't even speak to them. I, yeah, you can't. And it's like, the, you can't defend yourself and... They're telling you you're stupid and all this mean stuff about you, but you're playing a bad guy, but you're not a bad guy yourself. So you just have to sit there and take it. That's the yep. bad part about being the bad guys in, at Disney. So yeah. just expect that. And yep. If you did have to face that, what do you think you would do Like after you got out of the character? Yeah, just ignore it. I wonder if they have, like, counselors that you can go and talk to if you get annoyed about that. They probably do, but, I mean, it doesn't really affect me that much. Yeah, true. Well, <laughs> hey, they're just calling the character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're one of those guys who goes to Disney and yells at the character for being a jerk... I don't think there's many people that do that, but there probably isn't. Yeah, well, if you're one of those people... Why not write to the director of the movie and complain to him and not to the character himself? But they're just a character. It's just a costume. It's all fake. Yeah, and why go up and ruin someone's day by doing that if they're in costume and they're it's, working in the hot sun? You have to keep in mind, people spend crazy money to go to Disney, and if you ruin their vacation for them, and that's about their vacation. As yeah, much, true. They could say mean stuff to you, but you just have to bite your tongue and just move on with yeah. it. Yeah, and I've heard there was a guy who played Winnie the Pooh who they he got sued for going out of character or something, and he showed up to court, I think, the next week or something, Ooh. and he was in the Winnie the Pooh costume, and the judge oh, was like, okay, you're, you're good. You're, <laughs> you can leave. And let him get off. Oh, jeez. So... Hey, if something like that happens, just go up to court with your costume. Yeah. Walk in in your Darth Vader costume. 
The session is over. The judge is just going to tell you, yeah, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> so just show up to court in your costume and you're good. I am your father. I am your father. What? You died like 60 years ago, Dad. <laughs> okay, Dad, I'll let you off. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah. And I heard there, another thing about Disney. There was a cast member who went down into the tunnels to go back to the changing room. He got lost down there. The lights turned off. Next day, they, they, when they turned the lights on, they found him down there. And he's just like, really? I was lost in the dark. Couldn't find my way out. He quit that day. Oh, jeez. So these are just some of the horror stories I've heard. And jeez. That one wasn't as good as the Winnie the Pooh one, but yeah. still. Still, yeah. What horror stories have you heard, Brett? I think I did hear about the Winnie the Pooh one that you mentioned. Yeah. There was some other one I heard. Something happened. It was it was somebody in a character, I thought. Okay. So if you guys know any uh, Disney horror things that you want us to talk about, let us know. Definitely let us know. We can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. So if I was there, I would want to be... Mm, a First Order officer. That's a good one. And I would want to work on the Rise of the Resistance. Oh, yes, that was enough. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The door opens up. You are now under the control of the first order. That means get out now. That's what they did when I went on the ride. The, the lady came in and she's like, "You are now under the control of the first order. You must leave now. That means now. Get out." You know, you know how uh, you went on that ride. Yeah, three right. times. I've been actually no. I've been on it five times. Ryan was so mad when you went down there last year and you posted a video of going on there and there wasn't any weight. He was just like, that was such a ripoff. I had to. He was so mad about it. He, he was furious that you got to go on that without a weight line because when he went there, he had to wait for it. And that's one of the well, ones with the longest. I had long to wait for it, though. I had to go on the, uh, I, used, I had to use the app. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I still had to use the app. I forgot but I you said an, that. I got in easy, though. I yeah. jumped on on 70. He had to, Ryan had to wait, and he was so mad. Was he? Yeah. Oh. That you got on there easier than he did. And I, I've i never been on it, well, except for watching the videos of other people going on it, which I guess kind of counts a little bit, but... yeah. Physically being there in person would be super cool. It's worth it, dude. It's so worth it. Especially when you when the do, when the doors open from the ship, the transport, and all you see is just a line of stormtroopers standing, looking right at you. You get goosebumps, dude. I mean, I've, every time I go on it, that is my favorite part. I just want to stand there all day and just look at them, like just admire them. Cause they just stand there. Would they let you? Would they let you stand there for a, a long time, or are they just like continue on? We need more people. They'll to come. push you along. I got kind of lucky. It, there was a backup, and I was there for like maybe five to six minutes. So I was able to stand there for a couple minutes and just look at them. When you first go in there, and then you walk in, and there's the Millennium Falcon. Did you cry the first time? I did. Because I've heard that I people did. have shed tears. I did. I I lost it. It's emotional, dude. It really is. They make it feel like it's real. That you're part of the story. So if you um, went down there, if, if you had like a day off, yeah. would you go to the Disney parks or would you go to like Universal to go to like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Are you a Harry Potter fan? I'm a little bit of a Harry Potter fan, yeah. Me too, me too. I've also been there and that, that's fun. That's, that's a fun experience, I will say. Okay. So, in the comments below, who here would rather go to the, to Star Wars or 
to Universal to the Harry Potter worlds. There's a both I, of them. I like them both for different reasons. Both of them are more shopping oriented than ride oriented, and most of the others are ride oriented. It feels like. Yeah. But those two Star are more Wars, shopping. Rise of Resistance has. I mean, they have two rides that are immersive. Yeah. So there's some shops yeah. in there, though. Just like with Harry Potter, they have the one over at the school, the train. Yep. Going both ways is immersive. What I love there is... And Gringotts. I love the Gringotts ride. Yeah. And at the end, when Bill comes out and he's just like, Gringotts is the safest place on earth. And then me and my mom, whenever we wrote that, when we, after he said that, we would be like, except for Hogwarts, of course. <laughs> because that's a lie from the movie yeah. that I believe Hagrid says, where he's like, Gringotts is the safest place on earth, except for Hogwarts, of course. <laughs> And you have to say it with a British accent. You do. You do. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're a fucking wizard, Harry. Get your ass on the boat. <laughs> you, That's a good impression, right? Yes, it is. Do you think... Have you ever thought, what if wizards are the precursor to Jedi? What if eventually the human race expands into outer space? But the only thing they had on Earth were the wands. Yeah. But once we met the first Jedi, they realized that these people who had powers and had wands mm -hmm. were actually Jedi. I could see that. Yeah. Kind Sim of a fun theory to combine. There. I can see the simil There's definitely similarities between both of them. And only the one works only for that wizard who owns it and I believe the lightsaber only activates for the Jedi who owns it. It's actually the crystal. Well, the crystal, yeah. The force user, the, they, and the crystal, crystal calls out to them. Yeah, and the crystal, just like the wand chooses the wizard, the crystal it chooses, chooses the, the Jedi. Jedi. Yep, that's how it works. Mr. Porter, it seems just like yesterday, your parents went here finding their first crystals. <laughs> the crystal chooses the Jedi, Mr. Potter. <laughs> I can see that. I can uh, definitely all see that. All of Banda's crystal shop. Crystal shop. <laughs> I like that. I, that's a good job. Yeah, I can see that. Who, who in the comments likes... Uh, Harry Potter and Star Wars combined. I kind of like that. I do too. I like that. It's interesting. Here's what I would do if I was down there. I want to see you do this in a video. Go, since you, if you if you work at Disney, go over to Star Wars and wear your Jedi. Not go over to Harry Potter and wear all your Jedi stuff. <laughs> excuse just, me, excuse me, sir, sir. You're in the wrong place. No, I'm not. This is it. <laughs> this is a... Um, isn't that where you get your, your crystals to power your lightsaber? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's all of Andrews. Uh, is it, isn't isn't the tra that train over there, isn't that how you get to the Jedi Temple? <laughs> I want to see you do a video I like would, that. I would do that. Just walk and just, all dressed up in my Jedi robes and just be like, Hello there, everyone. Hello there. <laughs> Is, just, isn't that when you go by, isn't that the creature shop where I go buy porgs and stuff? Yes. Yes, I want to see oh, Wait that. a minute. No, that's Ron, that's Ronto Raptors where I get all the food. <laughs> yes. Or, yes. No, no, wait. Oh, wait. That's Docking Bay 7 where I go eat. <laughs> Docking Bay 7. That's Docking Bay 7 right there, isn't it? Yes. That's great. That's great. We got to see that as oh, a video. I would, I would do that. That would be funny. We got to see that as a video. You totally got to do that as People a video. People would be looking at you like, what the heck are you doing here? You're in the wrong place, dude. <laughs> You're like, in the wrong place for that. But it would be such a great video for be. YouTube. Even though like you would, people would think you're very weird for it's doing just, like, that's not That's not the right place, dude. This is Universal. This is not Disney. 
and then go to Disney on like a day With Harry Potter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I where is the, where's the butter beer? Where's the butter beer? Isn't the butter beer around here? Where is all of that? Just walk into Sabi's uh, shop <laughs> to build your lightsaber. Isn't this the wand shop? I choose my wand here. No. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, uh, oh okay. Oh, okay. I, I, all right. And then you go to the droid shop. Oh, build god. a droid. Oh god. Is this where you buy your owl for Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> who wants who wants G Pet Jake to do this as a video? Oh, dude! It would be a great video. It would. It would. And you, I've never seen anyone else do that. I would do it. I would totally do it. It would. The views on that would skyrocket, though. It probably would. Not that we're doing this reviews or anything, but still, the views. Think of the views. You would go from this many. Too. Probably would. Overnight. Probably. Because this guy this guy would tell this guy who would tell this guy who would tell that guy who would tell their friends. So if you have one person tell their ten friends and those ten tell another ten, eventually that those videos would it would be part video part one. A Jedi in Diagon Alley. <laughs> Diagon Alley. A wizard at yeah. Galaxy's Edge. You go up to 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 one of the stormtroopers. A body cadaver. The stormtrooper just looks at you. Why are you pointing a stick at me? It's not a bloody stick. It's a wand. <laughs> and then you go to go to Harry Potter World. Bring out your lightsaber. Use the force. It's like you, you go up to. They have with the Harry Potter. They have interactive. Yeah, the, the wand. interactive wand. Yeah, I saw people doing. Go, that. go up to to one of the things. Start waving your lightsaber in front of it. Or what? try to or try to use the force with your hand. Just use the force. That's not how the force works. It's not working. Why isn't my lightsaber working on this? You're in the wrong place, but no, I'm not. This is it. This is this, is, this is Star Wars, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would be awesome, dude. You could get so and like. Or even better, what if you dressed up as a clone? <laughs> <laughs> just, just. To, they just, probably kick you out because, like, you, I think you would. might have to have your face showing. You, you might, know? yeah. But imagine if you could wear a, 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 a clone helmet and just walk in there. You have Every, the blaster. Everybody be looking at you like, what the heck are you doing? You have the blaster. Oh, gosh. You walk in. You go down Nocturne Alley. You're just standing there in the dark. <laughs> Someone walks by. Halt! In the name of the First Order. <laughs> Actually, in the name of the Republic, because I'd be a clone trooper. If well, it would be the stormtrooper. Oh, I, thought, I said clone trooper. Oh, clone trooper. Hulk either in the way. name of the... Yeah, one of them. Either way. Yeah, either way. I mean, but that would be great. That would be great. I would love to see that. I would love to do that. <laughs> but you would get so many weird looks and so many questions. Even the people who work there are like... Okay. Okay, what's, what's this about? <laughs> um, is this guy okay? Should he be in a mental asylum? Just like Harry is in the books. <laughs> oh wait, I don't think he's in a mental institution. Uh, but that is a fan theory. So that is, yeah. That's a popular one. That is, yeah. Well, Just have the Harry Potter oh, scar geez. and you're wearing the Jedi robes. <laughs> that would be so good. Everybody would be looking at me like, what the heck are you doing? Yes, yes, I am Harry Potter. As a Jedi. I'm the Jedi Potter. I'm the Jedi. I am Harry's great, 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 great grandson. <laughs> and I'm a Jedi. <laughs> like, honestly, this is got to be a video, guys. I would make that into a video, no question. The, no question. I think the viewers no, will love no this. No question. No question. Literally, you got to do that. Like, I do. The next time I go down there, I'm definitely going to do it. All right.
One thing I want to do, did you, have you heard about the Star Trek park over in Spain? It's like a hotel and theme park. I did not, no. Really? I want to get a whole bunch of Star Wars gear, go over oh, there. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. It would just, it would piss off so <laughs> many people, but it would be great. I would love to piss off. <laughs> just, I like, I like. Piss off everybody, really. I love Star Wars, I like Star Trek, but just to make a whole bunch of Star Trek fans <laughs> mad at me, it would totally be worth it. Oh. It would totally be worth it. Oh, that's Not that you want to make anyone mad, guys. So. Just, just for the fun of it, just make them mad. Yeah. Piss them off. Yeah. Oh. And it's not like if you're a Harry Potter fan, you can't get mad at someone wearing Star Wars stuff. Because you, then you'd be like, okay. Yeah. For, for all we know, the Jedi Temple is a mental institution for the mentally insane. And the Jedi are all mentally insane. But that's no, not a theory we've heard about for Star Wars. Uh, yeah. We've only heard Harry's the one in the mental institution. Yeah. Imagine a Jedi riding around on a firebolt. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Or Harry, or a wizard, riding around in a rancor. <laughs> I have chosen the rancor. I have chosen the firebolt. <laughs> Just riding the rancor. Expecto Patrolum. <laughs> Darth Vader versus... versus um. A actually, Anakin versus Harry. Oh, God. Chosen one versus chosen one. Oh, Jesus. Anakin on the firebolt, <laughs> Harry on the red car. Or actually, Harry on, um... Oh, dude. Harry on, um... Oh, uh, what are they called? You're blanking on it. Come on. It's in the first movie, the... Padres. Padres, yes! It Harry yes, on the pod, the pod yes. uh, on Anakin's yep. pod racer, Anakin on the firebolt. Who wins? It's Becto Patronum lightsaber block. <laughs> can a lightsaber block a spell? I think he can. I mean, you've seen the video of the guys that recreated Star Wars versus Harry Potter. Yeah. No, nah, that was edited, of course. Obviously, yeah, sure. Because it's fake, but. Do you think a lightsaber? You know how in Harry Potter, if, if a Vada Kedavra is used against another wizard, it can't be blocked. Yep. Do you think a lightsaber could block a Vada Kedavra? That's a tough question. That, that, that is a tough question, I will say. Part of me wants to say it will. Yeah. Because it is a lightsaber, and lightsabers and wands are very different things. Lightsabers are very powerful. They're powered by crystals. It's, it's an energy beam. It's, it's very powerful. Yeah. They can block a blaster bolt, so... I don't know. Let's leave, let's leave that as the question for the viewers as our last question. That's our last question for the viewers? Yes. So, guys, do you think that Avada Kedavra could be blocked by a lightsaber. Maybe if it was a red one, it might not be blocked. Yeah. Because bad guy versus bad guy. Yeah. But if it was a green, a blue, a purple, a yellow, then maybe it will be blocked. Possibly. I could see that, yeah. May possibly the green, blue, and yellow. Yeah. Or just green and blue, yellow and red are too... Yellow and purple are too close to red to possibly block it. Yeah. Let's say purple and red get killed by a Vada Kedavra. Yellow, half and half. Half and half, yeah. Green and blue, safe. Safe. Alright. I like that. Yeah. I definitely like that. So, let's hear your comments on that in the comments down below. Let us, yeah, let us know in the comments. Anything else for the podcast? I think that's going to wrap it up there. 
Well, yeah. we've been all over the place in this podcast. I hope it's been entertaining. I hope you guys laugh and enjoy we've it. We've had some good laughs definitely in this podcast episode. Yeah, especially with Grogu being Baby Moses. <laughs> <laughs> but for I don't know where we got that from. I don't know. I mean, I and also Obi Wan being Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so we've covered everything, I guess. That's you never know what you'll get when you get us together exactly. to podcast. You, you'll never know what is going to happen in the next podcast episode. But hey, it's yeah. Star Wars, baby, and I expand. think for the next podcast, why don't you and have a friend on? With you, who's a fan of Star Wars and I'm like in, us. I'm in. I have a and friend. Then, I have a friend, yeah. And then I podcast with a friend. So we, they get two podcasts for, in the same week. I like that idea. Or we could just bring everybody together for a full podcast and, then and the, have four people do it. Let's do it where it's, we both have guest shot. And then the next time we have four so then we introduce the person and I get to know them a little bit so then when we all come together they'll know both people a lot better like how that. does that sound to you guys I think they're going to love it I think why not All right. that's going to do it for me guys this has been G-Fet Jake and Captain Trox signing, signing off, off.